Hello Aquarius. Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. Um, my channel is still pretty new. Uh, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. My channel is only uh, a, l a little bit under a year old, so um, I, it's a great way to support my channel. It's free. Um, also, like, comment, share. I would appreciate all of that very, very much. Um, I know that all of you are what makes my channel my channel. Without you, my channel would not be what it is today. So thank you all. Thank you to everyone. And if you decide to subscribe tonight, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And those of you who are new and don't know, I'm also an author. I'm writing an action-adventure love story on superhero twin flames. It's called Perception, the Two Yet One, book one here. I've read book one aloud live on Facebook, and I've uploaded all of those videos here to YouTube for you to enjoy this book for absolutely free. I'm reading it out loud. I have to do accents and stuff, and I am not an actress, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, if you've already uh, watched all those videos or read book one, know that book two is published and available. These beautiful, very well-made pap paperbacks are available on Kindle Direct Publishing, uh, for only fifteen ninety nine uh, plus shipping. If you have Amazon Prime, your shipping will be free. All right, so um, today we are still okay. So we're at the end of April, right? And uh, next month is May, and we'll be doing. Um, the mother all all month long and uh you know because this is the mother speaks um next month here in the united states is mother's day and so what i'm going to do like i did in february i'm going to take uh one week and ask for these messages from a mother energy um one at, you know one a week uh for the entire month of may uh, so that the mother energy can uh, really uh, speak and get her point across. So I figured this last week, let's stick with the tarot of the divine, which I love. And actually, I'm glad that I'm going to do another week because I can't get enough of it. This is Yoshi Yoshitani's deck, inspired by deities, fol folklore, and fairy tales from around the world. Um, <clears throat> so this deck was created by Yoshi and also illustrated by Yoshi, I believe. I, I really love this artwork. It's There are reverse meanings in this book, um, in this deck. I do like to stick with the energies that the decks are created with. There is a lot of thought and work done um, when it comes to these decks. And so um, I try to stick with what they the, the meanings and stuff that they were uh, created with. But I do um, listen to my intuition. If my intuition tells me, look, this is what it says in the book, but this is not what it means, I'll tell you that, okay? Now, at the end of the reading, I'm going to continue to pull from the Earth Magic Oracle cards here by Stephen D. Farmer. He's got a lot of illustrators in here, so I can't name them all off. But So these will be messages, again, still from our mother, the Earth. And I will get at least one card from the Legendary Ladies deck that I love so much, I feel like spirit led me to this deck. Um, I was uh, wanting a new deck and I wasn't sure why. And so I told uh, spirit, if you want me to have a new deck and that's why I want one, um, just lead me to it. I'm gonna go shopping tomorrow with my sister at our normal stores. I'm not gonna go to a store that would have tarot. So I said, so if I come across a deck though, I, I'll know that you want me to have it. And um, I went into a store called Cost Plus and I would never have expected to find tarot in there, but I did. This deck and another, um, this two of the same deck. And now this isn't tarot, but this is a goddess deck. And so I know that the mother wanted me to have this particular deck. So this is by Ann Shin. I absolutely love it. I love the, um, the artwork. It's so lovely and bright and springy for me. Um, these two decks are very bright and springy and the artistry is a little bit similar and um, So this for me these are for spring and for summer because they're so bright and lovely All right, so as a reader I read minor arcana cards as messages about your free will 
I read major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you made for your life before you incarnated in order for you to encounter and hopefully learn certain lessons of life that when learned, raise the vibration and the wisdom level of your soul. As you go doing this lifetime after lifetime, your soul's vibration gets so high and you are born with so much wisdom that you eventually get to a place where I believe you reach what is called enlightenment. So when we are looking at your major arcana cards, it's kind of like looking at fate. Um, but not really because free will can change just about anything. I say just about because there are things in life that we've written in our divine blueprint um, that absolutely have to happen or absolutely cannot happen. And we wrote them that way um, for spe specific reasons. Um, and those times are indicated to me in readings through the Wheel of Fortune card, which you do not have. Okay, so... Right here at the heart of everything, uh, you have uh, the exact same card in the exact position as Libra did. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but I read air signs. I'll read um, an element uh, per night. So like Mondays is earth, Tuesdays is air, Wednesdays are fire, and Thursdays are water. So um, I, I just read Libra, and Libra's card was the lover's right side up as well. So you may want to look at Libra's reading. Um, I've noticed that the, um, the elements, the signs with the same elements have um, very similar messages, okay? But I don't clump them together because they are different. They're more specific. So anyway, so in Libra's uh, reading, this did have a lot to do with love, but it was also centered around a choice, a choice in love. And the, that's what the lovers is. Also, this is the card of Gemini. So that is the third air uh, sign. So I feel like you, all three air signs are um, going through a lot of the same uh, today, this week rather. Though these um, readings are timeless, okay, whenever you come across this is when it's right for you. Right now it's spring here, but, you know, look at all these beautiful roses. Look at this beautiful card. Now this is um, Beauty and the Beast. If you haven't realized that already, this is the fairy tale of Beauty and the Beast. And this is, it's interesting how they put it in here, um, the Beauty and the Beast from China. A Danish fairy tale. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, so this is love, harmony, trust, a leap of faith, and choice. So the lover's card represents romance, opposite attracting, the duality and balance of carnality, physicality, and fire versus spirituality, emotions, and water. The pair emphasize the importance of communication and herald an important crossroads. Okay? Communication is very important, not just because you're an air sign, but through because of love and because of choices. You, when you make a choice, you want to be as informed as possible. Okay, so this is also twin flame energy. So if this isn't simply a Gemini you're focused on right now, and this is love, and this is a choice, this is if this is love for you, this is for me the twin flame card. The temperance card is the card where you are um, balancing your masculine and feminine energies on your own and you are your own twin flame. After you reach that level, then you attract a twin flame counterpart. So for those of you who um, are on the, the twin flame path, this would be your indication. That's what you're dealing with here. Now, this is the energy that is crossing or affecting the lover's card. And look at what it is, Aquarius. It is you. So air energy over air energy, as well as two major arcana. Okay, so we are in your age as well, Aquarius. There's going to be a lot of air energy in interplaying in everybody's charts. Okay, but for you... This is definitely, um, I mean, this is you. This is your energy. This is hope. This is all your dreams coming true. This is all your dreams. This is um, inspiration and 
uh, you know, everything that brings you joy. This is what the, uh, the hermit looks for inside when they go uh, into hermit mode and circumspect. Um, wow, this girl holding a lamb is reminding me of a dream that I had about a lamb a few months ago. Um, so this is Sister Alyanushka and Brother Ivanushka. Uh, this is a Russian fairy tale. The star is a symbol of hope after a disaster. The need to remain positive after misfortune, to remember that things can get better again. It is staying calm and open to future possibilities, seeing your situation with open eyes, mind, and heart. Um, so this is hope, serenity, inspiration, insight, and spirituality. Okay, so this is what's going on for you right now. These are beautiful energies, Aquarius. So Gemini and Aquarius. I'm surprised I don't have justice here because <laughs> that's Libra. <laughs> um, so the, what is at uh, the root of everything is a tower moment. Okay, Aries energy. Uh, the tower. This is Rapunzel. Uh, this is uh, the card right before the star. Um, see, here's the star. Here's the tower. The exact same page here. Okay. So the tower is a moment of uh, just sudden change. Um, sometimes it's so sudden that it's shocking. It is a change that stays. Okay. It is not always so shocking. Uh, sometimes it's just a major change in your life, uh, like when one day you may um, just realize that you don't want to eat a certain food anymore, so you don't, you know, something like that. But I feel like this is a lot bigger for you, Aquarius. Um, now, this is the, the story of Rapunzel, which is a German fairy tale, and it says the tower is about feeling safe and secure before everything is suddenly upended. Beliefs are shattered, understandings ruptured, and everything is destroyed right down to the very foundation. Perhaps the foundation was flawed to begin with. And that's what happens. Um, so the upright meaning of this is massive change, upheaval, catastrophe, rebuilding, and revelation. And the revelation part is what I was just about to mention. You see how the lightning strikes the top part of the tower. Um, and usually you'll see that the top part is knocked off and it usually looks like a crown and that's because what this lightning bolt is which is basically fire energy is uh, an epiphany something hits you and you went oh, and it changed everything and then you realize that everything that you'd built this belief on was not stable in the first place and so this tower falls so there was some sort of tower moment that you had. Everything was shaken to the ground, everything. And, but now, I believe that you're still having hope when it comes to this love and or choice. In the past, you've been confused, okay? This is the energy of your recent past that's moving out of your life at this time. And this is cup energy. So this is water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. And um, so this is all about emotion, love, intuition, uh, flow. Water is, um, mm, water is what we are. We are mostly water, okay? Now, this is the Seven of Cups, and you can tell here that this is Aladdin. This is an Arabic folktale uh, that originated in Persia, which in modern day, uh, modern times, we call that Iran. The Seven of Cups shows Aladdin standing before a myriad of fantastical dreams. It is impossible for him to pursue them all, and it is important he makes his decision wisely and quickly. This is daydreaming, fantasy, decisions wishful thinking and procrastination so what this is telling me um aquarius is that um this is love energy so when it came to love you may have had a lot of options um, and you didn't know what choice to make you were probably also pretty confused this is cups so this is love and now what we have here underneath your card here is 
the card of love and of a decision, of a choice. So just like Libra, the lover's card is about more than just love. It's about more than just twin flame and it's about more than just a choice. It's about all of it. Okay? You still have hope because this is your energy. All right? Some of you may have even recently uh, become a star. If you are in the entertainment industry, um, you know, it, it could have been here. This is going to be your choice. You finally um, are going to make this choice because you've had an epiphany where now you are no longer confused. And so now possibly making this choice will make you the star and it will make you uh, not make you, but you know what I mean? You'll become the star um, if you, you know. But this is also very much your own energy. You'll be in your own energy, your own element. Now, these two future cards for me um, are, well, these two cards are for me are future cards. And um, so one is wands and one is swords. So you've got cups, wands, swords. Okay, and you do have coins. So you do have um one of each suit you do have all the energy uh that you require um well okay so the seven of wands is the story of john henry we were just going over that in gemini's reading okay he was in gemini's reading however he was in the reverse now this is all about, okay, so this is uh, an American folk tale that originates from the state of Alabama. The Seven of Wands represents an indomitable force. Against all odds, John Henry stands up for what he believes in and is willing to fight to the bitter end. His courage and resolve is an inspiration even to those who disagree with him. The upright meaning is endurance, attack, fighting for beliefs, perseverance, mounting a defense. Okay, so... This is telling me that you may feel kind of attacked. Uh, you may be feeling attacked by a bunch of people and maybe even seven of them, okay? But like I, this looks, this is, uh, he has the upper hand. These people are all way down here, but he's way up here. He's got the upper hand and he's going to persevere and he's going to win. If you guys were with me um, while I was reading the Enchanted Forest deck, this was the one with the wyvern with a bunch of little gnomes around it. Uh, confronting him because he was different and you know all he had to do was a little puff of of um, fire and all those little gnomes would be out of his way but so this this may be you feeling defensive because people are, you may be feeling like a bunch of people are attacking you but if you persevere if you put in the the fire energy that is required here you will be victorious okay this is the um conflict yet upper hand and so victorious card now the next energy for the future that we have here is the five of swords in the reverse okay so i'll just show you what this looks like up, upright now the five of swords has always been um one of those i mean you can tell here how this is ah uh, you know swords which is your energy along with gemini and libra um, this is words, this is sharp actions, and, and most of the time this is gossip, and, um, well, it's definitely a conflict, but I'm noticing that from deck to deck, it's, it's kind of, it's, um, you know, this is always gossip and slander, and, and, you know, backstabbing and, you know, conflict and people getting one up on another and, and all that stuff. Um, this seems to be more about betrayal. This is the story of Isis, Set, and Osiris. Okay, so this is an ancient Egypt myth, the Egyptian myth. The Five of Swords represents a fight won through deceit. Set overthrows his brother Osiris and is seen gloating over his brother's inconsolable wife, Isis. 
while Set represents the tyrant of a victor, he Isis is de a defeated combatant who will eventually bring about Set's defeat. So that's true. Uh, Set, this is also about unconditional love. I'm very, very, very close with Isis, Set, Osiris, and their sister Nephthys, okay? They are with me every single day, so this is like seeing old friends. Um, she uh, she may look like there's nothing that she can do right now, but eventually she does re have him removed, but she also has compassion for him because he's her brother. So that's unconditional love. She is um, she's the sacred feminine. She is um, what she went through. Uh. So in the reverse, what this means is resolution, compromise, sacrifice, peace, and justice. Wow. Compromise is what I'm feeling here. Yeah. Mm, there may be, there is an element of sacrifice with the compromise, of course. Usually something has to be sacrificed for a compromise, but it will be just. Uh, it will bring peace and it will be resolved. So at first glance, when I looked at the Five of Swords here and the Seven of Wands, I was worried. I was like, oh man, look at all this, um, you know, basically good stuff that you were having here, Aquarius. But it looks like these are good too. This is the solution, Okay. Now, I feel like this is going to happen first, though, okay? I'm, I, I think that you're going to be feeling kind of attacked, maybe, uh, and but then you're going to feel better. For some of you, though, uh, it could be that you hit this plateau of happiness, and then people start coming at you and going, what do you mean? What do you mean you forgive this person? What do you mean that blah, blah, blah? You know how people get involved. It's just going to, it's going to be different for everybody. Okay, so the Two of Swords again. Wow, um, I hadn't gotten it at all, and now there it is twice. Now, the Two of Swords is the story of Sita, uh, a Hindu the, from the Hindu epic Ramayana uh, from India. Okay, let me just show you what she looks like upright. This is one of Libra's cards. It has to do with intuition. Um, there's a choice that needs to be made again. See, this is usually what we call the crossroads. She's got her arms crossed. Um, and, the, and normally uh, the figure in this card will be blindfolded because they're having to use their intuition in order to make this choice, which way to go. And that's why we have the presence of the moon here. But Sita here, she's got her eyes closed. So that's basically the same thing. So this is a decision again, the decision to be made within intuition but okay so this is your hope yet it's in the reverse so let's see what this is indecision lies exposed delays and overwhelming fear hmm well out of all those things i would think that lies exposed would be a hope okay let me just read the story the two of swords represents being stuck between hard choices Sita's decision between Skyla and Cherbidis is not easy and cannot be made blindly. It calls for self-reflection. Things can only remain balanced for so long before a move must be made. So I feel like that's what you're hoping for too. Like, you know what? Uh, things can only go on like this for so long before something has to happen here. That's what I'm feeling you're hoping for, okay? That is that this decision will be made. Maybe you're waiting for someone else to make a decision. But this is your energy, sword energy. So this could be you, but if this... Okay, well, anyway. So Knight of Cups. Wow, I hadn't had him in here yet either. And there he is. However, he's in the reverse. Uh, the Knight of Cups is this Prince Charming. He offers you his cup of love. However, you're in the reverse. So, knights are bringers of change. Knights are movement. Okay, so this is the story of Halibu the Hunter. And this is a Mongolian legend from Mongolia. The Knight of Cups is a messenger. Halibu is kind and gentle while also willing to take a stand for what he believes in. 
Halibu provides for his village, and after befriending a dragon, he willingly sacrifices himself to save everyone he loves. Wow. Oh. You know what? I just feel like this is something that you would do, Aquarius. Not that you're going to, but this is how deep your love goes. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, however, this is in reverse. So what this means um, in your current state of being or your environment, that's what this card means. This is heartbreak, infidelity, lack of diplomacy, moodiness, and pettiness. Okay. So I feel like somebody is being like this to you. It could be um, a water sign, you know. Um, a knight doesn't have to be a masculine energy. Okay, but this, I feel like the story behind this card is you. You would definitely be so wonderful like that. However, the upside down energies, I don't, I don't know. I'm not feeling that that is you. I'm feeling that's something that you're experiencing. Now, this is your fear card, and this is the Ace of Wands in the reverse. Now, all aces are new beginnings, powerful new beginnings. The Ace of Wands is a burst of inspiration. It is a burst of energy. It is excitement behind an idea that uh, it just gives you all the energy to follow through and do it. It's like um, uh, something that you're so excited about creating that you jump out of bed to do it or you know, you just can't wait to, to get involved. You hit the ground running. However, this is in the reverse. So to me, this is saying as a fear card that you're afraid that there will be no new beginning when you know that there's one that is needed. Okay. Um, this is the, the story of the magic paintbrush from China. Um, the, it's a folktale. The Ace of Wands represents inspiration, a sudden creative force. The magic paintbrush embodies these qualities with passion and daring. The magical moment right before the ink hits the paper and all dreams and possibilities are within reach. So I feel like there was a reason I had to read that to you, but also this is what it means in reverse in this deck is delays, bad news, a creative block and wasted talent. Uh, delays, which is not a new beginning. That's a good that's a perfect way to put not a new beginning here, is delays. So yeah, this sounds like a pretty reasonable uh, fear card. Uh, delays, bad news, a creative block, and wasted talent. However, I, I, you know, understand that these are just fears. Now this is the um, potential outcome, and uh, I'm happy to see this in the reverse this is the story of the little match girl, okay? And um, she is left out in the cold. She, um, this is a, well, let's, let's just go ahead and read it and see what it says here. Uh, the five of coins represents financial hardship and feeling left in the cold. The little match girl needs help, but no one is willing to help her. She struggles alone, despite her proximity to a force that could potentially help her, which is this church right here, okay? So nobody helps this poor little thing. And she's out in the snow. This is the perfect story for this card. This is lack mentality. This is um, seeing the world, your, your life, as uh, the cup is half empty instead of half full. However, your potential outcome is in the reverse. And that means paid debts, improved finances, positive change, acceptance, and recovery. And I would, I think that's financial recovery. You're going to be great. This is, your debts are going to be paid off. Your finances are going to pick up. There's going to be a positive change here. And there's an element of acceptance. Okay, so this is really great. That's a great um, outcome. Now, the underlying message here, it's all about strength. Leo energy here. Fire energy again. Now, this is um, Archangel Ariel. This is um, 
This is about taming your inner beast. All, our bodies are the beast. Okay, we are, we're animals. Okay, um, we're intelligent and our uh, souls come with much knowledge, but our bodies are still animals and we do wrestle with ourselves a great deal. And if you pay enough attention, you'll see that where you're wrestling with yourself um, comes from these ideas that your body comes with. Now, the, the, uh, this is uh, the story of Tam Lin, but it doesn't say the story in the book. Um, but what this is about is gently taming that beast. Um, most other decks, you'll see that this is actually Archangel uh, Ariel, the Lion of God, which is why this is, you know, and this is usually a lion here, and that's why this is Leo's card, okay? But what she's doing is she's very gently taming this beast because you want to be taming your beast inside gently as well. You want to heal yourself with compassion. You want to um, tame your, your beast with love. Uh, and then what that does is that, that you, you're very uh, balanced, okay? But what this is telling me is that this, this is teaching you this. This is teaching you strength, true strength. The strength to endure, the strength to use gentleness to overcome, right? This is the lesson, okay? So uh, if I were you, I would Google the, the meaning of the strength card and really look at it and meditate on it because this is what this is all about. All of this is teaching you true strength. All right, so let's see what the Earth Magic deck has in store for you. Mother Earth, this was a pretty darn good reading here. What else would you like to tell Aquarius? Is there anything that you would like to reiterate or point out as especially important? Is there any comfort? Is there any advice? Is there any new information? Let's just do this one more time. Alrighty. Okay. Oh, it flipped. Wow, that came out in Gemini's reading. Man, that is, that just blows my mind how there's, this is all such similar energy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mother Earth. Oh, okay, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, so fairy earth magic. Okay, so the fairies, they're talking still. This is their way of talking um, through this. I had been using, um, my oracle had been the fairies oracle. And so they're not done talking. They're not done uh, telling you all how much they love you and how they're there for you. Um, uh, in uh, the last reading I did, which was Gemini, their advice when they got this card was to ground because when you ground with the planet, when you ground with Gaia, okay, um, this helps you to see and hear their messages at least, okay? This will help you connect with the fairies. Um, th there's magic in the earth that are there for you. They know that you love the earth. They, Gaia is saying, I know that you know that I am nurturing to you. Okay? She's saying, I know that you draw on me when you need strength. Okay? My other children here, the fairies, are reaching out to you, Aquarius, okay? There's things the fairies want to teach you. And, um, 
and Gaia is is saying that it has to do with nurturing, self-nurturing, the 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 strength card, self-nurturing. Oh my, okay, so the Empress is right underneath strength in the right side up, okay? So um this this is saying there's an emphasis on the feminine strength, which is the strength to endure rather than the strength to subdue this thing, the the strength to gently ride it out and endure. Okay? Um focus on the sacred feminine energies um, to help you with the strength. Now, something's been veiled from you, okay? Uh, your intuition hasn't been showing you something and you know it. You know it. Now, this is uh, what I feel that you need uh, to clear this is an ace of swords. This is the fog that the Ace of Swords clears away. However, that new beginning and clarity hasn't come just yet. There is an activation from the wind that is coming for you and breach. Okay, not yet, they're saying not yet. Okay, fog and wind are both air. You are the air. Your element is the air. Your element is the wind. Fog is water mixed into the air. Fog is um, the intuition in your mind. Sorry if I, I got too loud there for a minute. Yes. Something is veiled from you right now. Your intuition, your clarity is not there. It's... This not being able to make a decision, this, this has been veiled from you on purpose. And it's going to bring you an activation through the wind. And what I'm feeling with this wind is that you may, um, if you do not already, you may um, begin to understand when the winds of change are coming. Because that's what the wind tells me. I'm an air sign. I'm Libra. And every now and then, when something significant happens in my life, the wind will snap me out of my thoughts because uh, something significant happened and I'm thinking about it. And then the wind out of nowhere will catch my attention. It just seems really, really loud. And it's the wind telling me that something major has changed. It is in the process of changing. This is um, a major time of change in your life. And so this is inertia that you got to deal with. Um, inertia, when you jump out of the water, um, you know, you fall back in. Um, it's an immersion. But it's going to, this to me, a whale breach is joy. When we jump, I was just meditating on this last night. When we jump into the water and we swim, we're having fun. That's exactly what the whales and the other animal, the other fishes and stuff that breach from the water are doing. But it's the opposite. It's like they're uh, taking a dip in the air. We take a dip in the water. They take a dip in the air, and it's to have fun. It's to experience joy. And it's also uh, speaking of this mixture of air and water and joy. There's something serious going on here with you, with air and water. Um, it's, it's going to nurture you, okay? All right, wow. That's all they're giving me for those. Let's see what we've got through the legendary ladies deck this is definitely a significant time in your life um, I can judge how much control you have over this situation by the number of major arcana to minor and you have one two three okay three Three out of ten cards means most of this is in your control. Um, so right here in the center, too, uh, this is your energy, your hopes, your dreams, your magic with this decision. 
okay? I think that this decision is going to uh, make all your dreams come true. And if you're, like I said, if you're in the, the entertainment business, you'll be a star now um, because this tower, I feel, is a really good thing, okay? So, yeah, three, three out of ten cards. You've got this. This is in your control. The earth really wants you to... What does she say? Consciously connect with her. Um, don't just go outside and enjoy how beautiful she is. Uh, talk to her in your thoughts. And she will talk to you um, through her children. Like, like um, bees. I'm seeing bees. Um, like if they buzz around you. Or, um, you know what I mean? It's the, it's the, Nature herself is going to talk to you because the fairies want to, to teach you. And fairies, this is earth magic, but the fairies told me that they're air, they're el air elementals. That's why they have wings. Your own energy, your own energy is going to teach you the wind, the fog, bring the intuition into the air energy will unveil an activation, the nurturing, the earth magic. Holy moly. Okay. All right. Goddesses, what would you like to say to Aquarius? So what do we have here? We got a bunch of them. They fell out all at once. Okay, so they want you to focus on individuality, on what you desire, justice and balance. Okay, so this is a Libra energy. I was I was like I was like, let's let's just get justice in here and then we'll have all three of the air elements. There they are basically. <laughs> Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Okay, all right. So, um, and passion. Ooh, Aphrodite, isn't she beautiful? Okay, so, yeah. Okay, so individuality. What do you desire? Justice. And also compromise. I'm feeling a compromise here. That, that part about compromising and maybe... Um, uh, uh, element, we, we always uh, sacrifice when it comes to um, compromise. So individuality, yeah, focus on your individuality and what you desire in life. You will have justice and passion in your life. And this is love. She's the goddess of love and peace and abundance and wealth. Ah, you got this. She's the goddess of love. Mm -hmm. A passionate love, very passionate love, a lot of sex. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you at this time. Please don't forget to like, also comment, share, um, and please subscribe and check out my books. I haven't had a bad review. Um, it's part of my divine blueprint to write this series. It's uh, my higher self said that it is uh, teaching certain parts of the path of spirituality through uh, an, un an entertaining but also like deep and hard-hitting story um, that everyone well a lot of people anyway can relate to so check them out uh, especially because you can listen to me read book one for absolutely free see if you like it and if you do you have the link to purchase them and book two and all that good stuff so that's what i have for you at this time aquarius i hope you enjoyed your reading See you next time.